This is Double. And he's Tank. And we're here to bring you our brand new YouTube podcast series that will be an eight part. We're just going to be asking each other a lot of questions. So We're going to make millions of subscribers. Yeah. And we hope to do it by the end of tonight. <laughs> oh. He should have been so far. Yeah, it can't, it can't be that much of a feat. Um, so, basically what's going to happen is we're going to read off some questions and we're just going to try to get something going today. So, um, take it away, Tank. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, like, this is us. First question. What made us want to start being YouTubers? Games. And money. Yeah, that's really the only reason why anyone makes yeah. a YouTube channel. Games and money, like, I, I want to make money off of doing what I love, and that's talking about and playing video games. I just want to make money. I don't even like doing it. I oh. just want to make money. That's just, I mean, everything's money. You're a fucking prostitute, Tick. You're a real <laughs> fucking whore. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> bitch. No, um, what made us want to start being YouTubers? It's just something we've always admired when we were growing up. Uh... By all that John like, Tron and AVGN. Yeah, you know, when they were like prominent. AVGN. Damn. We started watching them back in like 2011. That's so weird. And, uh, just like seeing people do the shit that we've always done, but they're like, they're, they're getting their voice out, you know. Personally, it's always been like a. Um, like, like. Like, a pub like publicity has always been like a big thing to me. Yeah. Like, like, um, because I used to act, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the best parts about it is getting all that, like, getting all that feedback. Like, after the show, you be like, wow, that was a great show. That was a great show, man. You were really great up there. And, you know, you kind of get that out of this when you're doing all these things that you normally do, except you're putting it out there. You have these things that you want to, like, Express to the world. Yeah, I can't even lie, even doing this is like kind of nerve wracking. We're not even in front of the camera yet. <laughs> you're nerve wracked because you're like, you're like sitting, you're sitting like a little <laughs> bitch right now. Dude, this there's is only why, so much space on this bed. So you want to get, you want to, yeah, hold up. Lay down? yeah, there we go. You want to lay down? Lay down next to right next to daddy. Right, right. <laughs> when we get a million subscribers by tonight, we're gonna have room 34 as well. Oh, great. A million subscribers on 34. Time to do a yeah, I'm gonna side with you on that. Even though I only met you towards the end of your acting career, which I don't really understand, with your your whole Charlie Brown play, and uh, <coughs> you know, pretty much here with them, just want to play video games and speak about the thing that I'm very very passionate about. Yeah, we have so many like thoughts that we kind of go back and forth with, but why not just like. And I'd be like everyone else. And just <laughs> yeah, and put it online just because you know, put it online. <laughs> yeah, we could exploit, we could talk about some Switch stuff it's later on. Who, yeah, to that. You can milk everything. I, I just want to get on the bandwagon if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, let's just sell it. What's up now? Then I This, um, this Switch will fail. The Switch <laughs> is going to fail because Nintendo. Ninten yeah, we're Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. Just look at the. All right. Just when you when you look at the thing, like this, the screen is all like. It, it's honestly no, too kiddie. No, it's too kiddie. It's too kiddie. It's it's just. It's not even that it's too. <laughs> 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 it's it's that it's not. Let, let's let me do it. Let's do it over. Yeah, seriously. The next Pokemon game needs to be on the PS4, <laughs> and I stand by that. Not even the Vita, the PS4. Not even on the Vita, yeah, the, the PS4. <laughs> they need to put it on the PS4 for me to be satisfied in 1080p motion, mocap. We need mocap for a Pokemon. Yo, have you ever seen, like, those Sun and Moon mods where they, like, make it look like... Oh, and they're dancing shit. super real? No, 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 not that shit. Mods, stupid, not, like, the fucking the motion capture shit. Uh... Oh, like the Unreal Engine type shit with the. Um... No, if you ever watch like, if you ever watch a, a, a video by Shofu, like all his all the videos he uploads, he has this mod where everything looks HD. Or Isn't Shofu like that? 
black. <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable <laughs> watching you. <laughs> 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 Actually, seriously, I haven't watched any of Shofu's videos since like Smash 4 came out. Because you want to watch the Smash videos? Yeah, I didn't. His Poke. I, I'm not. I can't watch Pokemon. I could only watch Smash. Something. Something so. <laughs> no. Just speaking of Smash, you know, uh. Oh, yeah, we want to talk about some Smash stories, man. Yeah, for those of you who may not know, we have, um. We're over here in Tri State area, kind of New York. And uh, we've gone to quite the amount of tourneys and we always just end up regretting it because we can't really just click in with the with the Smash community. It's just like, it's so fun sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean like once or twice. And every other like time, it's just been a waste of my money. Like the first time, I wouldn't say it's like a waste of money because there's always um, something to look forward to whether or not that's yeah, good or bad. Yeah, thing. getting knocked out of bracket. Getting knocked out. Getting knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting. Oh, okay. Oh, you fucking dick. All right, so I'm gonna start with one time I was at a. It was it Nebulous. Yeah, it was, was Nebulous. That was, ne was Neo Nebulous. Yeah, we were at Neo Nebulous in NY, and the venue's actually really cool. Um, the people there, are, they're they're pretty solid dudes too. But one day, um, I was. I was doing friendlies with this Mega Man, and I shit you not, he he dual mained Mega Man and Mar. I don't I don't know why someone would pick Mega Man and no wh who what would you get from picking Mega Man rather than sticking Mar? Anyways, needs all that range. Yeah. Anyways, this was around the time Bayonetta had came out. And, um, <laughs> I guess with well, that as did, content... When did Bayonetta come out? Last... Wait, this check. February, actually. Last February? No, last February, last February. Like, 20... 2016 February. 2016 February? Did we go, like, right after she... Yes, I feel like we went right after she came out. Yeah. Because that's when, like, um... You got, you got skinny in the summer, right? Oh, yeah, that was... That was... When I first lost, lost all those things, you were a chub fuck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You were a big old chub of shark. <laughs> big old oh. chub of fucking chub. Let me tell my story. Alright, I'll let you tell your story. So, <laughs> this fucking Mega Man Marth main, right? He plays me. I'm playing Bayonetta. And I'm feeling good because, you know, Bayonetta just came out. People don't think she's all that great. Can Little did we know. Me. All my victories were quote unquote earned and um he was just getting salt and i could just see it in his face so I, i'm the kind of stupid, guy that ugly face yeah stupid ugly but it's stupid Black. <laughs> african <laughs> um, american and uh basically i'm the kind of person that i, I feed off of people basically just i i really feed off of people just getting angry at me it makes me want to like you provoke like a them. fucking psycho. I'm so no, I am a psycho. Oh, I'm really I'm no, I, I'm psycho. I'm so I'm crazy. Psycho. Sat, I I promise you, I'm crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so basically, I have an, I have issues, and I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I get off on provoking Making people. Making everyone scared. But I do no. Don't go. Don't go. Don't click away from the video yet. I, I'm not done with the story. We're almost halfway to a million subscribers. Yeah. Don't go yet. Yeah, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, what happens is that I think my yeah my buddy, <laughs> my buddy Tate goes, <laughs> and he challenges him to a money match, right? For money. For money. <laughs> And my friend, and take here, he's kind of a piece of shit. He's a raw main, so the timeouts are always pretty real. And, uh, it's for money. And, and long story short, <laughs> well, long story take short. beat his ass and it wasn't even funny. And I was watching well, the well, match. Well, to, to be fair, um, I get the case that a jitters. He was a, he was a, he was one of those, uh, I hate fighting them, but you, you, you know someone who sucks, but they have that one attribute about them that, like, they do shit right. Yeah, that, like, it's ever, like ever ever meet ever, ever like go on like for glory or something, and then they're like, sh they're such a shitty player, but like they can perfect shield a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. That's kind and of it's like, you could tell it's like instinctual. They're not even doing it like with skill. They're just doing it instinctively. They're just kind of like, oh, I need to do this. I'm going to shield, but then they just get the perfect shield. Or when they jump off yeah. to edge guard and they accidentally foot you. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit. He was one of those people. So I did also, I swear to God, I'm not bad, but I did lose the first round. You didn't? You lost? I lost the first round. To the round. Mega Man I Marth dual shit. main? And no, I won. No, no, I won the next one like nothing. Oh, okay. The the first one was a close. It's cause like when I'm nervous, I kind of play like I I I I autopilot. Mm -hmm. So everything is just like everything's a fucking combo. No mix-ups. No. No. No real like thinking strategy because like I my problem is that I either underestimate someone or overestimate someone, and doing both is like really shitty. You should never. You should always just like. Ooh. I guess respect, like not literally, but like the 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 gameplay. Even if remember that remember that kid that you lost to, that um you were like oh shit, I, I thought he was gonna be nothing because he was a kid. Oh and yeah, he ended up being like our age. <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to I wanted to give the match a little fun to it, so I tried to disrespect him by picking Falcon, and now that I think about it, it's really stupid because Smash Four, like I could have picked anyone, and it technically would have been disrespect. But um. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been anybody. Wait, wait. Before we get on this, I, I need to I need to finish this. All right, yeah. Before, so basically, said Marth Mega Man main also Mega loses. Man beats Rob, so that's that's my excuse. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was near take during his set, and essentially what had happened was is that he uh, this Mega Marth main <laughs> blamed me for his losses. Saying that it was my fault that he lost because I was standing there distracting him. Well, because he fucking sucks. Because he fucking sucks. Yes. In reality, I was just yes. sitting behind Take watching the match. So he goes, yeah. I want to finish, but not until you leave. So then I'm like, oh, you want me to step away? You'll still get your ass beat anyway. And then yeah, you were like, you you know, you're going to get your beat, ass beat anyways. And then you like walked all the way to the other end of the room. And then yeah. like he was like, and then like while he was playing me, he was like, uh... No, I was beating him. Like I, I didn't get to beat him. I was beating him. Yeah. And then he was like, "Look, dude, let, let, let's finish this set later." And then he like walked up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, I walked away, so I did exactly how he acted, so he could get his ass beat in the fair way. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then he comes up to me, and he's like, "Dude, I said stand up, little I'm like, what? I, I'm, I'm, he yeah, walked up way. to me here. Yeah, and then he, he starts bugging out. Now, the memory's kind of blurry here, but I just remember kind of standing there oh laughing. Yeah, I was pretty weak because, like, I was surprised that he was really going so far, like, from the fucking set. Like, he really wanted to get out of the set, so he walked all the way across the venue to where I was okay. to blame him losing the set on me, yeah. which had made no sense. And then all of a sudden, all I really remember is like, I got hit to the ground. And then just this, this, yeah, I felt this like, it black was... fury emanating. <laughs> black. It was so weird coming from my perspective, because like, you were looking at me, and then he was behind me. And then you only looked away, because you were like, you looked at me, and you were like, dude, you think I would get in trouble if I fought this guy? <laughs> <laughs> and then he just sucker points the shit out of you. That was, I was like, I was like... Uh, I got frightened. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and then, and then, it's not, like, it's not like you like went down after that. Like you, and then you guys started like, I don't know, I don't know. You guys, you guys were like, it looked like you guys were fucking, but <laughs> you guys were like. He, he All I remember like, is that it felt him going over me, and then he was saying, he was saying something like, um, I think he said, he said something like, you're not gonna go away, you're not gonna go like away constantly. I thought he said like, he's bugging. Yeah. He's bugging the fuck out. And then I told him that his main was trash, and then he cried and left the venue. <laughs> That's how it went. That's, That's exactly, exactly how, it how it went. <laughs> and in reality, this this really, this savior, my savior came, this really burly white male. Not me. You're not him. Not me. I was and too, I was too, I was too weak. I tried tugging him off, but I was such a huge, like, I should've just punched him. I, I, that day kind of fucked me up too. Cause like, I couldn't sleep that night. I was like... <laughs> Well, I got a yeah, shiner. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know how much sleep you got. I know, I slept like a baby because, you know, I was- I, I got fucking I mean, wrecked. You had sleep because you had no energy after getting back in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, I was, I was, I was, I was feeling guilty as fuck because like I was, I, I was feeling so pathetic. Like, oh my god. Like, like, no, I don't. I didn't do anything. This was still when you were scared. You couldn't do anything yet. If the, if he knows how you look now, boy. if he knew how you looked now, things would have went completely different. Yeah, I would have talked totally two different. inches away from you. Exactly. <laughs> so basically, this guy pries him off, okay, and I just remember a being guy. furious because this pussy ass bitch punched me in the face when I was when I was looking over to my friend, confirming the situation, and um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I professionalized the situation. Yeah, just like, yo, you think I was gonna try to fight this guy? Yeah, uh, on, in hindsight, that was like. Fucking retarded. <laughs> you were like, do you, <laughs> do you remember when like the guy, he was like tugging the 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 Tony organizer, he was tugging you away from the, the other guy, and then and then you're like, I'm cool, I'm cool. I swear on my sheet tight because I'm so. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so when I got helped up on the way up, um, he was like, you're good, you're good, you're not gonna attack this man, right? You're not gonna attack this man because he was lifting me, making sure I wasn't gonna go full aggro. So then I told him that I swear on my sheik tech I wouldn't attack him. Yeah, and no, like, I don't know if anyone laughed. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, he take probably laughed. He's a fucking downy kid. Uh, um, I like downy. Good, yeah, good I love that downy. laundry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite laundry <laughs> sauce. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, he, he the He's the type of nigga to call it laundry sauce. He is the type of nigga to call it laundry sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, mom, give me the laundry sauce. I'm about to play some Martha Mega Man. <laughs> I'm gonna practice my roll tech. I'm gonna practice roll with the laundry sauce, nigga. Like mom, nigga. <laughs> uh, have you ever like? Yeah. Have you ever like accidentally said something to like a relative uh -huh. that was like super inappropriate just because of your slang? You you were so in like the mo in the moment. Like, I remember one time, I told my mom, I was like, no, I'm just fucking with you. She was like, oh, Dante! Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. I, I swear to you, dude, I was so scared, because she just looked at me. How old are you? Because you do that now, and she doesn't care. No, no, she doesn't care now, but it had to be like, I want to say maybe I was in like, <laughs> I'm just not, like, now. eighth grade. Something like that, she was like, Dante. Oh, if you guys don't know, my, my actual name is Dante. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a scary-ass name. She just took a double. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Don't call me that, guys. Call me double. Call me double. Oh. Wait, what's the next question we got here? We gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Because you know, the more the story is that I got my ass beat at a smash fight. Okay, you can, you go grab next. Time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll be the one doing the edge guard. You'll be the one who's using Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question: Who introduced us to gaming when we were wee little lads? All right, you want to answer this one first for me? I'll answer it because you were the interrupt. All right. <laughs> Uh, it's um, basically whoever had the first game in the house, which was my older brother. And he was also the one who um, introduced me to Pokemon. Oh, that's your fave. That's me. You that's love. Me. That's your Gemini Gem. I love the Mons. <laughs> you know me. You know me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, he, he, since, I guess since he mostly played Pokemon, it kind of like, I kind of like adapted to playing mostly Pokemon, so that became my favorite series. It's just something that I grew up with, I grew up with all the games, and if I wasn't playing the games, I was watching a TV show on our basic cable. Um, I was, yeah, it was, it was a huge deal. I mean, I had this one point where I was playing other games besides Pokemon. But then, of course, I went back to it, you know, I played Mega Man in base, that was like, oh, I must have been like 6, or something like 6 or 7, when I beat Mega Man in base, and I guess I had more will to complete games back then, because now, I die a lot, so I just don't even bother anymore. Yeah, for me, at this point, when I beat a game, unless it's a few exceptions, <laughs> I usually just beat it because I, I spent money on it. Like, sometimes the game isn't, like, crazy great, but since I put down the money for it like an idiot, I, you know, it's best you finish it. I mean, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, I mean, no, not even for me. Like, I, I would buy a bunch of games and not finish them just because I would get, like... <laughs> either, like, I would be like, oh, I'm coming back to this. It would, it would just lose my attention. Yeah, yeah, then you could be like, ooh, this other game looks nice, or... This other game I'm not gonna finish looks nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you know, uh... And then, um... After he grew up... <laughs> after he grew up, it stopped playing the games. When it wasn't cool anymore. When it wasn't... When it wasn't socially acceptable. <laughs> It still is not. Uh, <laughs> I kept on playing them, so it's just something that I devoted a lot of my time to. When I met this kid that I'm talking to right now, uh, I guess it became more pro prominent in my life because up until like the seventh grade, I was playing games, but I wasn't like it wasn't like all I was doing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I also, I was also like, I was also half like one of the generic like. Wanted to get into relationships and all that stuff. Yeah. Like middle schooler, but then like, I guess it was in the eighth grade when we met, and uh, I just started like, you were like, you were playing all this stuff, and then I was like playing all the same stuff, and then I showed you stuff. We just, we ended up, it just became like a cycle. Then not that Naruto, Naruto era. That we used Naruto to like, era. that's when we played like, that was the first. I think that's the first thing we ever played like. Compet like we were actually really into it. Like we really liked it. Was it Generations or was it Storm Two? The first one that we were really into. Yeah, yeah. That we, um, yeah, that we would actually like actively go to each other's houses and t just to play the game. Generations. I think I think it was Naruto, but I don't think it came to my house. I think I went to your house. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've I visited your house a few times to play. I think that's when Generations came out though, because that remember I wasn't like um. My mom used to be super uptight about letting me go to anyone's house before she met their parents, so like... Really? Yeah, yeah. That, that was a, a thing? That was a thing. I remember I had to literally, your mom had to talk to my mom on the phone to confirm the situation that you I, were like... I don't remember that at all. Yeah, that's exactly how it happened. That's how, I remember that's how um, I got permission to go to your house, because I, I was like bitching to my mom. I was like, I don't want, I don't want to. I look like such a loser for my new friends, mom. <laughs> And she's like, I don't Morning care if you want to go. Them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't by not on some real though. That would that would, that's pretty like horrible. I would never want my kid to do that. Like I, I. I mean, you gotta know who fucking takes care of that little shit. Yeah, yeah. But if it's just like a small little after school visit, and you know where I'm gonna be, because I told her we we don't live too far from each other. It's, it was at the time it was literally only a five block radius, and a few avenues. It was like, point <sighs> that specific. We were on this. X and Y <laughs> coordinates of the Earth. Oh, go on Google Earth. Let's see where we live. Uh, no. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I guess you did it. Come. Yeah, I, I had four times. Yeah, I, I came all over, dude. And then your sister. <laughs> and then your um. That's when I. Is that when I met your sister the first time I was there with Mikey or? Uh, I think you did come with Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got, then you got, uh, <laughs> yeah. You got kicked out because you were being a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I took all your laundry sauce. <laughs> you took all my I drank up that shit, boy. No. I drank your laundry <laughs> sauce with some cereal. That's <laughs> me my breakfast soup. You, yeah, your breakfast <laughs> soup. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, yes. oh. it, it's my turn to answer that one. Oh, Basically, yeah. um, I have an older cousin. And we'll give him an alias. We'll call him, um. Pookie. Oh, and the, yeah. that's a good fake name. That's a me. great fake name for Pookie. And um, basically what happened was is that um, being younger, I would just go to lots of my aunt's house because my mom was super busy with work and whatnot. Ooh. So like, um, basically, I would go there, stay over a lot, and this guy had like everything, dude. Like he had an Xbox, a PS2, a GameCube, all, all that great stuff that a kid would love. I'll be oh, a, man. Yeah, and he was like the when I was when I was younger, he was like the super like he's he's awesome, but like he was like super cool to me and whatnot because he was like this you know super edgy teen. He was like the definition uh, of a two thousands kid. Like, I was thinking about my brother too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can actually see that. I can see Danny being like that. I mean, he he was yeah yeah he was he was the, he was the edgy teen. I was like yeah yeah. And I remember looking up and like he would always like. Though we didn't like, we used to like get into like a lot of petty fights and shit a lot because you know it's natural for when you're an annoying ass little kid and you got yeah. an edgy hot topic kid mm -hmm. in the same house they're bound to argue. But like he was always great with letting me just play whatever. Like um, 
he'd introduce me to so much stuff, whether it be like uh, DMC, Halo was like, Halo and Melee were like the only things we played for like hours, and it was just like our favorite, like whether it be co-op in any of the first three Halo games or fucking um, Melee, mostly Melee. All those really, I guess that's where I got my tech because like all him and his friends would beat my <laughs> ass. Constantly getting all those fox up airs and you know. Um, that takes skill though. Yeah, yeah. That, that oh yeah, that, I forgot. It takes skill to press jump and then and then up A. Yeah, because melee is the it's, superior. It is the technical. It's got only like 20 characters and it's completely unbalanced. But remember, it's better than Smash 4. Exactly. <laughs> that game. And uh, basically, I remember that since my mom would like uh, drop me off some like we were always really tight, my mother and I. So if I asked for something, eventually it would happen, even though it wouldn't be like right away, like. Not one of those type deals where like, Mommy, get me this. Get okay, it. son. I'm Pitch. getting it for you now. It would be like, okay, sweetie, if you could give me this, aka like, let's say like a good grade or something, I'll get you this. So basically I would work towards, you know, like, you know, getting <laughs> my... I was promised that, but then never got the game. That's sad. You want... Actually, you know, I'm, I'm lying. I didn't even work towards it. Like, <laughs> she, my mother just loved me enough because my grades were never even all that great in school. Oh, you got enough. an F to get... You know what? That's all right. <laughs> no, no, not like that. It would be like she would wait for occasions, more or less. Like, happy birthday. Like, my first um, console was the Game Boy Advance SP that I... No, no, no. My first console was a PlayStation 1, but it was a hand-me-down from a friend that I actually don't remember his name because we were so young. But, um... That's funny because my first hand-me-down was an SP. Oh, that's strange. That's the first, like system I've ever had in my life like for my yeah own. and it was a, it was your brother's something no 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 it, it was weird it was really weird where I got it from I got it from my father's co-worker's wife <laughs> what <It's dead>. wait <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm saying, like, your father's co-worker's wife it was her really, SP it was I guess it was so weird she she like this middle-aged woman and she, that's not even all she brought home. She, it was so long ago, but she brought home two, a, a, a little metal rocking chair, a pink beach chair, and then the Game Boy SP, she gave it to me, and it came with Pac-Man, and I think, I think Pokemon Gold. That's just awesome, like, even the combination within itself, like. Exactly. Such a weird situation, but. I was so happy that I got it. I, I was so happy, I did I tell you that? Uh, I was so happy I got an SP. With Pac-Man, that I would just watch like if you if you if you um oh yeah that you would watch the menu screen I would just like watch the the, the pac <laughs> like it was fucking television because <laughs> I was a little I was a little kid who didn't have anything like <laughs> system I mean I wasn't home <laughs> oh my god but um <laughs> wow. Yeah, oh. so that was my hand-me-down. So your hand-me-down was a PS1. My hand me yeah, and I basically got my SP with um, the glorious Sonic Advance 2. I'll never forget how excited I was. Oh, man. And um, I got it at my aunt's house. I still remember it pretty vividly. It was the blue SP with that beautiful green cartridge. Oh, and my great. mom was like, happy. I think I was like, I was probably, I think I was six. Same. No, no, five, five. I was five. I was five because I know when I was six, I got my GameCube. And Double Dash was life from then on. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn, that's early. Mm -hmm. To get a GameCube? I think... No, uh, actually when I was like 6 or 7, I didn't get a GameCube, my brother did. Yeah. But... Well, then that means it's pretty much your GameCube then. The nigga didn't let me play it. <laughs> <laughs> he, the, the first game you ever got with LEGO Star Wars, and that's like... <laughs> that was the first GameCube game I've ever played. Oh my god. That's strange, but... Good I because love that game. those games are game awesome. Game? Yeah, the Lego games are. Shout out to Lego Indiana Jones. That game was like. It's honestly my favorite Lego game, and I know that's super weird because I'm always either like, oh, Batman or Star Wars, but Lego Indiana Jones was personally my favorite. So, the, when it comes to the Lego games, I don't know if there's like a specific favorite. You know, no, nah, I'm pretty sure it has to be the Star Wars ones because there's so many of them. There was even one on the DS that I had. The, the regular DS. The regular DS. Was it the second one or the third one? No, no, it was like its own thing, I believe. From what I know, it was like it wasn't a port. It was like its own Lego Star Wars. I remember Lego Star Wars one and two were on GameCube, and then the third one was for like 360 and all that. And they also had it on 3DS. Dude, I want to play a Lego game now. Actually, shit. Oh. You got Lego Dimensions. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cut so off the podcast right now. Just so I could play some Lego Dimensions. Okay, bye everyone.
Oh wait, but we still haven't hit a million views, a million subs, my bad. Ah, uh, uh, fudge. It looks like we have to keep on going. Fudge shickles, what? we have to keep making this. What's the next? Okay, okay, what's the next one? What's the funnest YouTubers to watch? Alright. Because you went first last time, I'm going first this time. And I'm gonna say right now I love to watch. That's not fucking fair. <laughs> Rude? So now I'm gonna say the most fun to watch for me currently <laughs> is H3H3 H3 because like Really? Yeah, I do You don't understand because like I thought you didn't even like him. No, I love H3H3. H3. The thing is that his content is like strange because like sometimes he'll make videos that are just kinda like I don't care. But when he does any PSA reviews, they're like so fun. Like I could just go back and watch the old ones. I don't need to watch like okay, his so, new content. So, but not like one of your favorites, right? It's one of my favorites, yeah. It's, it's so f like Dude, you oh. told me you didn't even like H3. No, I like H3H3, H3, dude. You were like, eh, he's not that funny sometimes. You know, you know. Sometimes he likes he's not, but like his the, what he covers is fucking hilarious. And the videos that are really good, I could just watch over and over, like on a random like occasion. Like even though I saw it like a day before, I'll put on like the fucking um, uh, what was the one the, the Patrice Wilson with the Chinese food and the <laughs> Patrice Wilson. Wait, that's what that was his name, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, his name. Yeah, and it was like him being a pedophile. That show always has me dead. Like I just watch it and it's able to make me laugh. <laughs> just, when I watch it, 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 when I watch it, just reminds me like. Ugh. <laughs> I I don't even know. I don't know. He's just fun to watch. H3, I like his Yeah, really. I, I like the history, but um, you know he's basically fucking ending, right? What do you mean? Cause that whole YouTube money shit? Yeah, he made it. I mean, well, as long he, as all his he, he, made, of... he made a video like he was like, oh, we might have to quit YouTube, and then he made like two more videos after that, so he might be like talking out of his ass. It's because of this whole. He's thing. not quitting YouTube. I'm pretty it, sure they just do it to get their fan uprise, and they I, were like, I, "Oh, we'll support you." <laughs> what are you calling the fucking <laughs> the conspiracy against them? No, it's not a conspiracy. It's just realistic. If I would have them, I'd be like, "Can you turn on?" We're gonna down shut down. It's like suicide, fucking. Yeah, up. and then everyone's gonna be like, "No," everyone's gonna talk me off. They're gonna be like, "No, we no. need your content." We need you. And then I'll be like, "Okay, I'll stay." <laughs> You don't you guys promised to like upload my video. You took uh, how to build a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> but H3H3 H3, and I think the the next thing that I watch most is probably... Uh, what do I... What do I even like? What do you watch now? I like... I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I do love oh, fucking... Oh, don't um... you like Dashy? No! <laughs> don't, don't even joke about that sort of shit. I'll fucking kill you. No, um, I saw a whole Ralph, dash here. Ralph the Movie Maker. Oh, Ralph the Movie Maker? Yeah, shout out to Ralph the Movie Maker because he's he's fucking hilarious. Like his <laughs> content. I'm surprised that he doesn't have as many, like way more views. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most frustrated I've ever been squatching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he did a video. That was that one's great. The Bigfoot. It was the Bigfoot hunting um show suck. I think it's called Bigfoot hunting show suck. <laughs> and that video was fucking amazing. Uh. This is the most frustrated I've ever been while squatching in my life. He's <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> and he's just fucking like, he's a weird hybrid to me between fucking, um, I want to say the nostalgia critic. Don't compare him to YMS. And YMS. <laughs> he's like well, he's like a nostalgia critic and YMS had a had a, a baby together. They and had a gay sex and had a baby and it's a Ralph Seppi. That implies it became less funny. Less funny? Nostalgia critic's not funny. I like yeah, his, he's not I funny. Like his, he's not funny. I like his videos, but he's not funny. I mean Yeah, I'm behind we, that. We have no we have no like place talking shit about YouTubers already, but Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but his content's like uh, what he covers is funny though. Like I like his videos, I, can, I like his editorials, but like he he, he just has very like, really cheesy uh, humor sometimes. Yeah, he does he does a lot of cutaway humor. It reminds me of Family Guy in a way. Like you know oh, how like, like he'll show the old Family Guy episodes were funny, huh? Family Guy, I, I never really got into now, it. Like, now it's fucking off. That's one shit I will talk. I will talk shit about. Maybe on the next podcast we'll just maybe on the next podcast a Family Guy episode. Yeah, if you guys want a Family Guy episode, <laughs> leave it down in the comments below. And Guys, don't forget. if you want a Family Guy episode, hit one. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. No. So, what about you? What do you? What? Who do you watch the most these days? Um. 
are like the funnest when it comes to the funnest. Yeah. But not favorite. Yeah, yeah. just the ones you frequent, just because like you know. Well, we already said YMS. YMS is my uh, is my favorite movie reviewer, and I've always been big on like movie reviews. Um. Damn. I I, you, I watch YouTube every day, but like. You, I, I guess I had to look at oh, my playlist. Oh, did I see you fucking? Didn't you show me the other day a bunch of the only play stuff? Oh, only put well, only when it comes to like let's play channels. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I like only plays because they're just really fucking funny. <laughs> but you guys have such synergy. They <laughs> have such synergy that we don't have yet. That I hope to. We hope we have synergy. We have no synergy. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll have it one day. One day. We'll be the new. What, does he have a name for him? His little his clip? Is it the only is the only gang? What? It's only plays. That's it. That's their group name. It's not like Game Grumps. Yeah, it's only or plays. fucking two best friends play just only plays. I don't really watch game comps anymore. Or you could just. What do you like, mean? The, uh, Lyra and Dad are the best. They're the best. We yeah. have such stories and they're so funny. <laughs> All right, maybe Dan, but like not Aaron. So like. I like Dan. Dan. I like Dan because he's a nice guy. Aaron, like Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. When he gets mad, it can be funny, but like it is forced sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Do you like his Wendy's? The Wendy's. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's so good! Oh my god, no! Oh, come on! Don't, like, he's fucking like, it's just a fucking burger, but he's like fucking jizzing. He jizzed on the burger. He was like... Oh. One of them literally looked like a, like someone stacked shit in between it. It was like a chocolate frosty. You can't talk so much shit about YouTubers, man. You gotta talk about... You gotta be nice. Aaron's really cool. I like his videos. Isn't he really cool? And Aaron... Is the coolest. He's the coolest. I like Sweet. Him. No, Stylish. I legitimately <laughs> cool. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> I actually do legitimately like him. I think he's cool. I, of course. I mean, I can never forget the awesome series and his old animations, which he, he should have stood doing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he didn't make no money, he should have just did it for the fame. Yeah, exactly. He, he should have done it with the fame. Do what he loved. <laughs> Being such a sellout. He's a sellout. Hey, I'm grump. That's what grump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes, right? Yeah, I'm grump. I'm grump. I'm gonna grump you up. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Okay. No, I, I, you know, they got their thing going on. They're almost about to hit like 4 million fucking subscribers. Only plays or fucking game grumps? Game grumps. Oh, I was about to say, holy shit. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. It does. Cause they, they, weren't they, they on, on the news? Like the biggest, yeah, they were on the news. That's cool. It, it's, it's like talking about like how much money it, it, it's talking about like how how like because of YouTube's algorithm that doing best plays is just like uh, the best method to get money method. like if, if you're already if you've already been doing that then yeah it's the best way to like make a career on YouTube and um, well at least like as a reason yeah um but you know some people just do it because they like to, and they have like a they don't they don't quit their day job, and then they don't. Uh, <clears throat> Next fucking question. You just fucking rambling down, you fucking ape. Uh, can you understand the words I'm saying? Uh, what's the next question? <laughs> what do we do outside of gaming? Don't I mean double? Can you tell me what I do outside of gaming? Well. Some days I try to ask them, come over, come over play Smash Brothers, take, come over. And it'll be like, I'm hitting the gym double. I can't fucking do it. I smash. Not today. I smash at the gym. Yeah, he smashes at the gym. He's just always trying to get bigger because he's a, you know, he says that he's a scrawny piece of shit. And That's exactly what I say. No girls like him no, because he's fucking no skinny. No girls he's like He's a me. fucking bitch. But yeah, he, he, all of that is true. He, I, I can't. How about you tell us a little bit why, why you started going to the gym actually? Because I actually never even fucking asked you that. Oh, yeah, why why the fuck? What even? How'd you even start? First of all, don't fucking hit me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did I start going? Yeah, how'd that even fucking start happening? Because I just remember kind of I... happening. I, I think I told you that 
Mm, cause, cause my brother all the even way before my brother all the time was like, yo, when are you gonna come to gym? When are you gonna come to gym? Um. And then one day you went to the gym. And then one day I went to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Um, no. Uh, <coughs> I have rabies. Oh, then God bless. You. I have rabies for my rabies. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was stupid. I don't know what the fuck the joke was. It wasn't. So. <laughs> Shut up, let me tell my story. But one day, I guess I was like 16 years old. And, um... The only reason why I declined when I was like 14 is because I thought you just couldn't, like... I don't. I didn't think you you should work out when you're 14. Oh, you and thought it would stunt your growth or something? Because of weight I and think, stuff? I think it would... I think it would be pointless. I, think, I thought I wouldn't gain anything at all. Oh. Um... You and then when I was 16, time. like, I don't know, I got... I, I was inspired by something um, that, cause you know, I wasn't just gonna be like one day out of the blue, just like, hey, yes, I will go with you. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah, I started going. I was just, I was just like a scrawny. I was so, I was so skinny. And I, you know what's I, I funny? Was you were skinny, but you always have like a a, ch a chubby face. Like you had chunky cheeks. I did have chunky cheeks. I don't know how that. I happened. also had a big face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should call you Fat Boy sometimes. Let's go, Fat Boy. This is my name now. It's not like I'm a Fat Boy. You know that turtle. Uh, no. Um, I used to be one of those kids that like wore shirts that were over that were too big for them because they didn't. I didn't want my arms showing. That's some sad shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your arms. I don't even know if anyone looks at someone's arms and you're like, too skinny, too skinny. You're not accepted into society because you are skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I do sometimes. I see a kid who's. Because I mean, like, only when it's unhealthily skinny, like, they look like a corpse, is when I notice it. And I thought I looked like a corpse. Oh. I thought I was only too active. Well. To be fair, um, you still are now, but... Yeah, that's true. I'm joking, that's why I'm in a bed here with you. <laughs> you keep pulling my strings. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, basically you hit the gym, you got a girlfriend and... Yeah, I did have a la I do have a lady for now. Um, she's in my life. And that's a big thing in my life. And now I have a life. Uh, <laughs> why we got bad? That's a great testimony. Speaking of testosterone, I don't probably... Yes? Where is this going? You have a question for me? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, my, my hobby's outside of me. That oh, was wait, a question. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, I'm not done. You're not done? Yeah, I also... What the money? I also have the job. I work on my part-time. Well, no, full-time. Well... Um, I'm thinking of working part time so I can focus on school. I'm gonna start school on fall for either journalism or psychology. It's gotta be one of those things because I like to write, but I also like your brain. I'm gonna just take both. You can't take both. Um, cause I, it's, it's because journalism doesn't journalism doesn't take as many years as psychology. Psychology you need like a master's. You need to take like eight years for, for psychology. I took a psych like that. class. I yeah, didn't it's know that. Kind of but... oh, sure. Yeah, psych is cool. I think you would like psych, but I want you to do journalism because then that way, you know, you could use some of that journalism to you could write some scripts <laughs> and do put some our reviews. Put shadow on the newspaper and then get two million subscribers. You're thinking ahead. How many do we have now? I we have about we... seven hundred fifty thousand subscribers now. So we're about third. We're about a third way there. Yeah. What do you do outside of the gamings? Well, I'm not gonna hold you. Okay. I just got a new job at a gift shop. Oh, hell. I'm feeling good. Oh, well. But outside of that sort of thing, I just like to... I'm the kind of guy that, if I have nothing to do, I just usually hit up a friend, meet up with them. I travel out to Marine Park to hang out with one of my one of my buddies. And he lives kind of far by. The, the trip is nice because I get to listen to all that music. I'm big on music wherever I go. Oh, you like music? What do you listen to? I listen to... The Undertale OST. Oh, that's a good one. That's a... 
That's my favorite one. <laughs> I love Undertale. <laughs> Undertale or T, Undertale game, both my favorites, they both take full go in the income. <laughs> <laughs> And I just like to, I just like to, I, I just kind of gallivant around, I, wandering aimlessly, mm. and just walk with people, talk with people, and get to know them better. Don't you actually walk, like, in the middle of the night? Yeah, I do, I do that. Um, some days, if I don't feel like going straight home, or if I just need a walk, I'll just go to the local park. I won't tell you the location of that park, because I don't want any stalkers coming up to my door and being like, It rhymes with, huh, nah, imagine, because it would be way too obvious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm not, yeah, we're not giving, we're not giving all you fans our location because we're already almost at a mill and I don't need, <laughs> you know, thousands of you coming to my door saying, Double, double, can I get your autograph? And then I'll say, no, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to sleep instead. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I, I like to go on walks a lot and just listen to music and jam out on my cellular device. Uh -huh. Sometimes people look at me weird though because it's like, you see this tall person of color walking around and you're like I don't trust him I don't trust him because of his skin <laughs> <laughs> what's the melon level what is that? what's the melanin level on this but you know I mean I, I just do my own thing I like to jam out walk around the park I've been jogging a lot lately because you know trying to trying to do some belly burner exercises because you know even though I lost a lot of weight I still got to get that yeah. rock hard Figure. 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 Tigger. Oh. What? Yeah. Wait, what? It's honestly 50 50. <laughs> That's what I mean. There's no, con <laughs> no context to that joke. <laughs> no one's gonna get it. Right. No, yeah, I did ask. Alright, well, next question. Who's disappointing you the most for being a fucking weeaboo? Alright, so next question. <laughs> <laughs> what is our end goal? What's our end goal for the channel? Yeah. What would you like to see? Wait a minute, who asked the first last time? No, just go. I don't care. Um, my end goal is to... I mean, I've always wanted to, you know, do YouTube anyways. I just want to get to a point where I'm good at, you know. Um, I plan on doing my own... I plan on putting my own, like... When we're not, if we're not doing, like videos together we, we might do like our own individual uploads and i want to get good at reviews because reviews is something i've always wanted to do i want to get good at editing my reviews um a lot of thoughts you want to put out there a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts all my reviews if my review if if my thoughts are juicy enough then, oh uh, that fucking hand motion you just did <laughs> that was really juicy gross <laughs> it's juicy enough uh, uh then i'll make a very long review um, the only thing is that I I don't know if I'm gonna be one of those people who takes forever to do it because I, I oh because you won't feel like it's perfect the first time yeah so you just keep revising it and editing it like and then it won't come out for another five years well you still have that Undertale one I still have the um, the unironically written Undertale review that I have that I read like a year a year an actual year ago like it's in, not back been a year and do it back in March. March 20th. Oh shit, you wanna know what? You're actually right, because I remember around the time I was playing Fire Emblem um, Fates and I was playing Undertale, and that was last February. <laughs> yeah, last February, rest February, is when I got my laptop, and then, you know, that's when I played Undertale. That's like the first thing I did on my laptop, because. Um, that's a great first thing to do. It's a, it's a great first thing for anybody to do. Yeah. I should just come out the room and just be like, hey. Play some Undertale. Let's play some Undertale as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your um, end goal? My end goal is to be at a place where I could post videos and just kind of find my flow and be able to like... I want to do really reviews nice. and stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> but I also want to do a lot of stuff for a personal game because my ultimate dream is to aspire to become um, a game writer. I want to share ideas and concepts eventually. And I want to, you know, try to get a good community of people that are all interested in the stuff I am and will all want to So just... you're gonna use all your fans to crowdfund your shitty game? Yeah, they're gonna go on my they're gonna go on my PayPal. 
And on PayPal? Not even the Kickstarter, or PayPal? Yeah, PayPal. I'm gonna do a GoFundMe. <laughs> GoFundMe. And, um, Patreon. I basically just wanna find out what people like, so it could help, like, with my writing and basically just bettering myself in terms of, um, owning my entertainment skills, whether it be through comedy or, um, literal, you know, plots and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So, my end goal would be basically to just get a group of people that all like our content and basically just make like a, not sound like a fucking cheesy bitch, like a form of like, you know, like kind of like a family in a way, like in a really weird. That's not cheesy. Get a cyber family. That's so sweet. You're so sweet. Santa's chair. Stop. Stop doing this. You always do this and you make me blush. <laughs> well, anyway. So you just want like a... You, you just want like a starter. Like, if, if, if say we do have fans, if they like the, if they like the ideas you put out, because... We've discussed a lot of ideas. Yeah. Uh, for whatever for for the longest you're literally since seventh grade we've been talking about a bunch of like eighth. game con eighth. Oh yeah, eighth grade, sorry about that. A bunch of um game concepts and show concepts for like a bunch of stuff. I just have a bunch of ideas that I just need to get out there and I think YouTube and using the internet, because it's a great tool, will hopefully get me there one day. That's good. That's yeah. good. It's a, nice, it's a nice thing. It is very nice. And I, I just want you guys to all remember the number one most important rule Here's lost the uploading videos. <laughs> have some fun. Have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> because I actually do want to have some fun. Put the bunny. Diffy the duck. I would I'm we... sleep at night having a dream or something. I'm mad that more people don't know about that video. Because <laughs> they did, that would be amazing. Seriously. Because <laughs> that guy's great. I'm probably going to be those assholes that just make stupid references. Yeah. All the time. Not having our own material. Maybe we just reference the... That could be our thing though. That could be our... We could just... Plagiarism. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been plagiarism. Uh, this has been... Double and plagi... No, I want to be plagiarism. You could be Rizm. <laughs> Rizm? That's just a gross concept. That's a gross name. It's a nice name. Yeah, it's a nice name. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna hold you guys. We didn't even think of a good way to close this thing out. We all hope. Oh, see you next. Bye. Bye, guys. I love you.